Well, friends, I look forward to sharing with you a series of devotions based on what are called the I am statements of Jesus, where Jesus speaks about himself and he says, I am, then he uses a number of different things that we can relate to to help us understand spiritual truths. Do you ever stop and think about how this, it's a loaf of bread, how essential that really is in our daily lives? A little over three weeks ago, as we just got into this whole coronavirus situation, I went to the grocery store to pick up a few things. And one of the things on the list was bread. I was surprised when I walked into the bread aisle and in a place where the shelves are normally full, there was less than 20 loaves of bread. As he often does in the Bible, Jesus in the I am statement that we're going to look at today uses something from everyday life to help us understand a spiritual truth. In John chapter 6 verse 35, Jesus says this, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Those words are part of a longer section in John chapter 6 where Jesus speaks about himself as the bread of life. That whole bread of life discussion though follows one of the miracles of Jesus. Do you remember that miracle where Jesus fed over 5,000 people with just a couple loaves of bread and five small fish? After Jesus did that miracle where he fed those thousands and thousands of people, people had in their mind that they could come to Jesus and Jesus would give them whatever they needed to feed and to take care of their bodies. So with that miracle fresh on their minds, Jesus uses that bread, that idea of bread, to teach them and us a very important spiritual truth. If you noticed at all the last four weeks during the whole coronavirus situation, where there's been an awful lot of talk about food, people having a tar hard time getting food, people waiting in long lines to get food at food banks. Conversely, how much conversation have you seen about people and their spiritual life? People feeding their soul and looking for strength for their soul in these difficult times. That's exactly Jesus' point when he calls himself the bread of life. After he fed those thousands of people, as I said earlier, everybody kept on looking to Jesus to feed their bodies. And he wanted them to understand that his important, his most important role was giving them more than food for their bodies. His most important goal was to feed their souls and to give them eternal life. A few verses later in John chapter 6, Jesus lays it out very clearly this way when he says, my father's will is that everyone who looks to the son and believes in him will have eternal life and I will raise them up at the last day. When people hear that whole thing of Jesus talking about himself as the bread of life, the first thing that they usually and immediately think of is the Lord's Supper, when Jesus calls himself the bread of life. That's only part of it what Jesus is talking about when he refers to himself as the bread of life. When Jesus uses that terminology, he's referring to everything, all the tools that he uses to feed our souls and to give us strength for our faith, to keep us in that faith until the end of our earthly life. That's a rather timely conversation because for many of us, it's probably been three or four weeks since we've received the Lord's Supper. But what Jesus wants us to understand is that even though we may not have been able to have the Lord's Supper for a few weeks, he is still there as the bread of life to strengthen our, our faith and support us through the power of his word. Have you noticed how many opportunities, maybe I should put it this way, how many more opportunities there have been in the last few weeks for you to feed your soul and to strengthen your faith? Think of all the different online opportunities, worship, Bible study, devotions there are. 
because people in this time can't get to church to hear God's word, there's all sorts of resources online. Yes, the Lord's Supper is one of those tools that Jesus gives us to feed and to strengthen our souls. But it is along with our daily remembrance of our baptism and the blessings that he gives to us there as well. In those times when we're not able to eat this bread and drink this cup, Jesus, the bread of life, is still there to feed our souls and to strengthen us through the power of his word. That's the reason for offering these and other devotions to you, so that you have many, many opportunities to strengthen your faith and to feed your soul. The bigger point, though, that Jesus is making when he talks about himself as the bread of life is that we should be more concerned about feeding our souls than feeding our body. Or maybe I should better say it this way, that we should not feed our bodies to the exclusion of feeding our souls. So often people neglect feeding their souls until they're, so to speak, in crisis mode. If we regularly feed our souls with Jesus, the bread of life, like we feed our bodies, then we're going to be ready and we're gonna have our bodies and soul fed and strengthened regularly. This doesn't mean that troubles and challenges won't come, but when those troubles and challenges do come, we can know that our faith is strong. We can know where we should turn to when we face those difficulties and challenges to find peace and strength and hope. And isn't that true right now? When we're in difficult situations, like it seems like the entire world is right now, when we know that Jesus is the bread of life, that he's the one that seeks to feed and to strengthen our faith and our souls, we can turn to him in his word and sacraments. What a blessing it is to know that we have a Savior who gives us everything that we need for body and soul. As we receive our daily bread with thanksgiving, May we also regularly feed our souls with him who is the bread of life in all the different ways that he comes to us in his word and sacraments. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, my giver of both physical and spiritual bread, thank you for giving me all that I need for body and life. Even more, thank you for living, dying, and rising again so that I can feed on you as the bread of life as you come to me in your word and sacraments. Forgive me for the times I have been more concerned about feeding my body and have neglected to feed my soul. Lead me regularly to use your word and sacraments to strengthen my faith and give me the hope and the peace you desire to give me. I pray this in your name. Amen. Look forward to sharing another one of these devotions with you soon.